Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How much tax on REIT dividends, NEN Real Estate Investment Trusts, or REITs, are companies that own, operate, or finance real estate. They offer a way for individuals to invest in large-scale, income-producing real estate. One key aspect of investing in REITs is understanding how their dividends are taxed. NREIT dividends can be classified into three categories, ordinary income, capital gains, and return of capital. Each category has different tax implications. Ordinary income dividends are taxed at the individual's regular income tax rate. This is often higher than the tax rate on qualified dividends from other types of investments. NN capital gains dividends are taxed at the long-term capital gains rate. This rate is typically lower than the regular income tax rate. Return of capital dividends are not taxed when received. Instead, they reduce the investor's cost basis in the REIT shares. NN when the shares are eventually sold, the reduced cost basis results in a higher capital gain. It is essential to note that REITs must distribute at least 90% of their taxable income to shareholders as dividends. This requirement impacts how much of the income is classified into each category. NN investors should consult a tax advisor to understand the specific tax implications of their REIT dividends. Tax laws can be complex and vary based on individual circumstances. Understanding these nuances can help investors make informed decisions and optimize their tax situation. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.